Blue Shift. All right, guys. Welcome back to some more Hellblade. Um, we just got out of a really cool section, going through the sea of corpses. And uh, honestly, the game just keeps turning it up, and I'm so excited to keep grinding. So let's go. All right, and in through the door. Don't open the door. Stay back. What's in there? A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. Garm. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Okay. So we got a lane dark mechanic, so I'm assuming we're just gonna haul through the shadows. Ready, go. Stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Okay, sword is useless here. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Nothing was behind me. I see this little pillars. I don't really, that's the only light source I really see. I really want to see what's down there, but I don't know if it's going to kill me or not. Step in the shadow here, what happens? Nothing. Dude, I'm such. Okay, let's go this way, and then if it continues to progress, we'll come back and we'll see if we can backtrack. That's the plan. Here we go. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. It's so full of hate. It's a trap. Why would I just want he to help them. It's a trap. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Senua! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold. Chill. Of fear. I don't talk much about her father. Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Alright, so we have a torch, which means we probably are good. For a minute, at least. Dude, yeah, so why is he telling me that it's a trick? Like, I am much more likely to believe my own voices than him, even though he is one of my voices. Okay, keep the fire up there. Don't let it drop. Love She'll have to go in there. She can't. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. Don't let the torch go. She has to go 
torch go out. Shit. Okay, here we go. The torch is She would actually like, give me a creature that I'm running from. You know what I mean? Like it's scary with the visions and everything, but like it would be really interesting if there was like something I could just see like creeping. Let's get this bad boy lit up. I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, I guess. Oh, I see it. There we go. There we go. There it is. The, the B dialogue from all the voices. I think that's super interesting. What if you connect them and there's nothing behind the door? See, Dilly, this is just another trick. Alright, anything else? Yes, there it is. Worth it. Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good hearted hero promises to slay the dragon. If Rhea would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rhea reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rhea go in search of Fafnir. Okay, so they rebuilt the sword, and now they're dragon hunting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Dude, this game was storytelling so well. Okay, so I'm assuming... Oh yeah, we can. Where we just were to go down. Yes, secrets. Dude, I love secrets. Have I ever told you guys? You might not know this, but 
The dragon fastener is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all the owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Solid point, but I feel like you're missing the warning there. You want to live long enough to spend the wealth, I think, is the idea. Alright, left or right? Okay, going left. That was a cool drop view, though. single one of these that we can. Oh, this has changed. Uh, I see that now. It's probably hard. Is that the door that we came from? Oh, I think it is. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, that is where we came from. I'm gonna relight this though real quick. To the left. Like this. He's got his own torch. Interesting. Oh, what the hell? You can't stab me before you exist. Oh, you guys are hackers. smack me while they're still getting into reality. A bunch of cheaters. Okay, this looks like the symbol I'm looking for. Potentially. Alright, it's a symbol. That kind of. I'll probably have to go up there to look at it. Alright, let's try. I thought we had to go a lot higher. She did it. She's done it. Well done. This place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. 
imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark, coming through the walls. That's what she once thought everyone could see them. That's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. the store. We sure did. Oh, I go up. There it is. Her torch is going out. No, it's not. Going out soon. She Why hasn't got much time. torch is going out? Why are you telling me that? She's too slow. It's never burned out before. The darkness will come again. Oh my god, you're freaking me out. There, 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 there we go, light it, light it. P, oh there it is. Do you feel it? The beast is crawling into your mind, searching for weakness. It found your mind. Her to trap you in here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Alright, we've already been through here. Let's get out of here. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Dewey. You killed her. You killed her. So her dad just literally threw her in a hole, which just exacerbates the problem. You know. We will find her. Let's go. Am I still running from that dude? I'm assuming so, but I'm in the dark now, so I'm not running. 
way down there to find Dillian. Sorry, dude. Shadow is like still here, even in the torch. something from there. Maybe it's on the other side. Let's see. Yeah, probably. Let's go see. will take her like it took her mother. She can't resist. Pointless evil. Dude, I'm the best at resisting. Is this the next one? Yeah, 
totally is sweet. I was kind of worried we missed one, but we are good. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Interesting. So you drink the dragon blood and then suddenly you can hear the animals around. That's actually really interesting. Here we go. Make sure we clear the wall. Starks get really dark in here. Another secret. Sigurd's newfound power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafnir's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Brynhild the Valkyrie is the bird's advice. He kills Rian, eats Fafnir's roasted heart and takes Fafnir's treasure, and he embarks on a new quest, to ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Interesting. So it creates a happy end. Through there, I didn't get the other one, I assume. Go back, Stop. go back, go back. I did not plan that route very well. I need to lurk. look where I'm going. Can't I just shut the door here? Oh my god, nope, sure can't. Supposed to go? Oh, it's up there. But there's no torch for me to light. Hmm. Okay, this one's be interesting. Where's that water coming from? Do I have to push that water somewhere? That's probably not it. I'm gonna go through there. Okay, let's look at this first. Okay, got that in my brain. Right, let's try to just go up here first. This puzzle is going to you. have to wait until next episode. Alright, so we got new mechanics in this episode. A little bit of the fire, light, and scary monster. Got another death, so try to get a little crazy, but that's alright. Um, this is fun. I'm getting a little bit more terrified every time I play. So, here's to keeping that up. Um, thanks for watching the episode, guys. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.